You're rolling. Hello. <gasps> Noxy! You want to be a part of our video? Mm, is that a yes or a no? This time last week, we got engaged. Engaged? Woo! You should show them your ring. Uh, uh, the ring is having, uh, being sized and having adjustments. Yep. We're making this video to, one, show our friends and family who couldn't be at the engagement, and two, so we can look back on it fondly when we're in our 50s and 60s, and hopefully 70s. I really wanted to have like a really special proposal. I've seen all the YouTube videos of people doing really special things, so I thought it was like a good thing to like hype it up and make it something that we would remember for a long time. Oh. I wanted your friends and family to be there along the side of mine. And then number two, I want it to be like somewhere outside. And it took months to get everything in place, which makes it special too. Because it's fun to, for you to look back and be like, oh, you did all these little details. You created a Facebook page. Yes, and I had all of your best friends and uh, my friends and some of your family. Let's see, so the first thing that I thought that I thought about is we should go back to the first place that we had our, our first date location Aww. spot. So we did. And it Which, was, our first date, to clarify, we had never met each other before. Date, it date. was a blind date. And so it was really the big start of everything. And we had never gone back until this point. Saturday, we could go. The big thing I always remember from the first date was, besides how beautiful you were, was just how nervous I was. And so. Going back a second time, I was actually more nervous than the first time. Oh, yeah, so and it's funny because I even said something on the way there. I was like, "Isn't it funny? Like last time driving, because we drove separately for the first date. Like we were both so nervous, and this time we can just chill." And he was like, "No, <laughs> no." I was so nervous, but I couldn't express it, and I tried to keep the same tone as I always am. <laughs> Happy six months. Happy I, six love months. I love you. I love you. Too. So he didn't propose at the place where we had um, our first date. But after that, he said that he had to feed some dogs. He was watching for uh, family, friends, yeah, dogs for the weekend. Church with us. Yeah, and um, so we were just gonna go to the farm. They were gonna like show us where the food was and everything. I act like we were driving up to the driveway. I was act like I was talking to the phone to the owners of the farm and they said, meet us, or, or I projected out loud, meet, you know, meet us in the second barn. And I said, okay, we'll meet you at the second barn. And so she didn't think of the other. Which I found out. I thought that he had like t called some random person and made up that conversation. Like it was a pre-planned thing. He didn't even ring the phone. Nope. Like he was just talking to his nope. blank screen. Yes, which is so funny to me. And we get out of the car and it's like really beautiful piece of property. And uh, he goes to hold my hand and his hand is sweaty. And his hands will sweat during like an intense part of a movie or like meeting my family or like in any time he's nervous. And so that's when I was like, oh my goodness, is this real? Like, could it actually happen now? We were walking by a barn and inside the barn, the first barn, there are a bunch of stables. And I was like, oh my goodness, there's stables in there. And uh, to kind of like see, oh, are there horses? I, I don't know, it just looked cool. And he was like, but look at the mountains, like look over here because, the, come to find out, the photographer had hidden in the stables. The previous day, we, the photographer and I went out to the property and he was like, you need to stand here so the mountains will be in perfect in the background with you and when you get on one knee, your shadows won't be too bad for the camera. And so we pointed out all this, again, a little small de detail that goes into the whole proposal. We passed the barn and Jonathan's mood, like there's a huge shift. And I was like, oh my goodness. Like I just felt an intensity from him, I guess you could say. And he said, oh, let's take a picture of like your back looking at the mountains. You know those pictures where it's a beautiful Which we have done before. And a person looking out. But just the way he said it, I knew. And it's like before it was all these like fun little suspicions. And then I was like, oh my goodness, this is real. It's actually happening. His shadow, you'll see from the picture, and he turned it around and I could see him get down on his knees in front of me. And I just started crying, and he's like, all right, turn around, three, two, one. And I just didn't turn around because I was like, I can't believe it's happening. Like, it's, I feel like a lot of proposals, you just think like, oh, it's going to be the most romantic thing, like, I don't know. But for me, it was just like an overwhelming feeling of like, is this real? I can't believe it's happening. This is a moment you hear about your whole life. And so then I turned around, and he's on his knee. And you can say what you said. I said something. <laughs> These past six months have been the best of my life, and I can't imagine spending another day without you. One thing you told me 
that you wanted me to say is your full name. Really? And I said it, and you, didn't, you never acknowledged it. I didn't even know you said it. Surprise. No. I did, I, I was, that was the one thing I made sure I said. Is Hannah Marie Parker. Yes, will you marry me? I had planned. I was like, I'm going to say yes, of course, or yes, I would love to, but all I could muster was yes. I thought we were by ourselves. This couple walks out of the bar. The Hester's and um, take photos, and there's some really cute photos, and I really love them. Too. But it was like 95 degrees and huge, so humid, and I was sweating profusely. So we got in the car, and the farm that we were going to next was only about five minutes away, so we pulled up into the driveway, and that's the place where I used to live, and we got out of the car, and the photographer got out of his car, and we took a few pictures. Taking photos, I heard like squeals from the background, and all of my friends, not all of my friends, but a lot of my friends and, and family. family came holding these white balloons and it was so sweet. The, the party part was a lot to point to. Yeah. And Jess, her friend, did a lot of the work, so kudos to Jess. But uh, all the details, the time, the food, the colors, the venue, it's just so many little details that goes into that. Uh, but I was really worried. I wanted the party to be really special and so we had more friends and family there than I thought we would. We have people from D.C., Philadelphia, Charlottesville, Virginia, Memphis, Tennessee, Orlando, Orlando Jacksonville, Jacksonville, Gainesville, Knoxville. Anyways, I else? felt so special because I never would have expected all those people to be there. Our parents met without us being there because they were both at the party. The combination of your friends and my friends and families and everything like that, something that we didn't get to like facilitate because we were obviously doing the whole proposal thing. Um, leaving the party we like FaceTimed a few more friends and told family. them about it, family. It was really a surreal night. Yeah. We kind of kind of gone perfect. It was so perfect. Yeah. Thanks for listening to our story. We love everyone, all my, our friends and family who came and all our friends and family who couldn't come. Yes, we do. A lot. Any final thoughts? Um, Wear an undershirt if you're going to propose in the summer so you don't sweat through it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. When I held his hand because we were walking, it was <laughs> so sweaty. sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I was so nervous. I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, and then there was like a pretty scenery like this one. And he was like, let me take a picture of you, of your back. And then he got down on one knee and he was like, all right, now turn around. And there he was.